Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mori Crossing and today we're going to be doing another Animal Crossing video. Of course, we're going to be doing a speed build and it's going to be just in front of Coco's farm and we're going to be making a kind of, not Zen garden, but Japanese garden slash tea rooms uh, for the lovely boots. I can't wait to show you what I've done and yeah, let's get started. So I wanted to give boots some kind of um, tea rooms but with a kind of Japanese garden in the background. I started doing this in a stream so if you want to check out the whole thing and I talk about what I'm doing as I keep going and we have good times there I will link it right here. But yeah I started putting down some water and um, yeah for this build I was inspired by a fairly local place to me um, which is a very small tea rooms in the middle of a city actually. Town maybe is a better word. Um, but yeah, oh, here quickly before I finish this. Um, I, this is where I finished the stream and I started doing it on my own. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, there's this tea rooms in the kind of middle of this like mall area. It's just a kind of, um, big contrast between like old and new which is what a lot of Japan is like. I'll show you a picture here. It's kind of got a little uh, pond area with some koi in it. It's very overgrown. It's an old traditional tea house. I just took this as a kind of inspiration. I'm of course not going to do it one to one. But yeah I wanted it to be overgrown. I wanted it to be at the same time beautiful. <laughs> So yeah, I started out by adding a bunch of different water areas and I wanted a lot of rocks. I was really influenced by moss as well. I don't really have any sort of actual moss, but I use mossy stones and the mossy kind of path look. If anyone's got a path that they use for sort of overgrown areas, overgrown areas, sorry, please do write it down in the comments. I'd love to see it. I also decided with this island I would use more in-game path just so that it looks prettier on my map and also I've really been inspired by a lot of um, people who do Japanese islands and they do use these round areas and they add bits of kind of overgrown areas or like muddy bits just to kind of give it texture and yeah I'm just adding some lilies also between the stream and the um, work on it on my own. I did decide to change the water custom design. You might have seen that earlier. Sorry, that was a while ago. But I really wanted it to be quite a darker and slightly more plain than the original one. Although this is very colourful. I'm still not 100% happy with it. It's really pretty, but I don't know if it works quite for this area. So I'm just starting with the first kind of tea rooms area um, with some of the bamboo items little, is that the autumn? The fall? Little leaf table I think there. <laughs> I also really liked how this looked at night and as we came from uh, May to June, which this build did take me quite a few weeks, like on and off I mean not that it took me a solid two weeks but it did take me a while to really fit it all together. As I've said before I love cluttered kind of Japanese overgrown areas that's like my big inspiration living in Japan myself um, I'm always seeing that kind of area and I just wanted to, to replicate it as much as I could in Animal Crossing but yeah so um, I was really enjoying it while I was saying going from May to June um, you started getting fireflies you won't see them quite yet in the build but later on I, just, I forgot how pretty the fireflies are so I really enjoyed doing the builds at night and adding lots of different types of lighting. I love that there's so many different Japanese options in this game. I mean, it's a Japanese game, so of course there are gonna be, but it makes it really great for builds for me. Here you see we've moved to the next day so that some of the bamboo could grow. And I'm adding this kind of, I'm not quite sure what it is really, to be honest. A kind of structure, just kind of hidden there. I felt that it gave 
more height and yeah maybe like kind of a mini shrine I guess is kind of what I was thinking when I was making it so I add a bunch of rocks here because I wasn't happy with how flat this whole area looked if you guys have any advice on how to make the areas look less flat when they are mainly quite flat does that make sense I oh, and then little Cole Cole had just moved in I was so happy that he came and sat with me there I just wanted to keep that in <laughs> he's so cute and then I decided to terraform this area because it, again, it was looking quite flat. And I wanted to like, kind of separate this area from the next area. Behind, I'm thinking of doing a, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a Zen garden or if I'm definitely gonna do like a, what's it called? Like rock circle? Is that what people call it? Where you put all of your rock, uh, all of your like, What's it called? Mining rocks <laughs> in a circle. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where you get all six of them and you put it in a in a circle. That's what I'm going to be doing back there. That's my next build on this island. I'm really excited to start doing that. And in this, you see me doing the like cliff tree glitch quite a lot, I guess, in a lot of my island because I think it just looks so pretty. I'm not quite sure why Nintendo didn't make that you know <laughs> an option in the actual game and also today someone pointed out to me in one of like the trailers for the nintendo stuff that there's some trees right next to a river and people are speculating whether that's going to be a added feature or if that was just you know a developer had done that and they'd forgotten to take it off. I don't know, but why can't we plant trees right next to a river? Why can't we plant them next to a cliff? I don't, come on. <laughs> and here I added another little shrine. I saw that area as a kind of a personal shrine for boots. I thought that he would have a little shrine that he would, you know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Pray for good fortune um, for his tea rooms to do well. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I found this really nice muddy path that I've been using instead of... I had a really dark coloured one and it just wasn't working for me. I found this kind of slightly lighter but still kind of... What's it called? Kind of a dusty brown? Is that what it looks like? I don't know. It looked more natural to me so I was happy with that. I just wanted to add loads of different kind of um, plants in this area to make it again look overgrown and more like a Japanese garden because whenever you go into Japanese gardens it's kind of at least the ones that I've visited they're all about height you have like different bushes at different heights you have a lot of different kinds of moss you have loads of different kinds of flowers but it's very green and there's a lot of kind of mini landscaping all over which is not something you can do in this game which is why I just kind of pile everything <laughs> up and hope for the best that's my attitude to most builds is put a bunch of stuff there and hope for the best <laughs> because I just really don't like plain spaces when I go on um island tours I really enjoy it when people do leave these extra spaces but I don't know I can't I can't do it on my island. I just can't. <laughs> I can't help myself. I have recently been trying to keep to one or two colors per area. Doesn't always work, but yeah, I try and keep things a bit more structured recently. I've been trying to do that anyway. I don't know. You let me know in the comments whether you think it's too much or whether you like my style. I mean, I'm not gonna be offended either way we all have our own styles just let me know what you think I need um, someone who is a unbiased witness like when I ask my boyfriend and stuff he's like ah it looks good I'm like but does it does it I don't know <laughs> yeah we've got this uh, pagoda up here I really like the light brown one I think it's really subtle and again I'm trying to make it look like it's kind of been overgrown and here we come to about a week and a bit later. This is the area we have to work with. I was thinking of making this a separate video, but decided because it was still <laughs> Boots's area, speak of the devil, Boots is getting in the way as per usual. <laughs> he was in the way this entire day, honestly, wherever I wanted to go. He came and sat on everything that I was putting down. I mean, I love you Boots, but come on, <laughs> please. 
But yeah, I just wanted to extend the water down here so that it sort of had a kind of continuation. I really wish we could um, plant trees or do at least some terraforming on the sand. It would be on the beaches, I mean, sorry, because you can put sand, yeah. You know what I mean, on the beaches, because I feel like that would give it such extra height that it sometimes needs, because otherwise I feel like beaches can become really samey. And here we're doing another little tea rooms area. In the end, I think I end up with three areas. See, there he goes, sitting down, excuse me. I mean, I guess it is his tea rooms, but dude, I'm not done yet, I'm not done. And I'm so glad that they added these like kettle 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 pee hallways. They look so good. I really want to use them elsewhere as well. I'm not quite sure what I'll use them for, but maybe restaurants or something. But yeah, this one is really inspired again by the place I was talking about earlier. The reason I've made it so crowded is really inspired by that place. There's like two floors in the tea room and the entirety of the second floor is just cat statues. Lucky cats and just general cats. There was so many cats, I cannot tell you how many cat like things there were. So that's why there's like loads of lucky cats in there. As well as a bunch of like um, background food and the hearth. It just, yeah, I was just trying to encapsulate the place that I've been several times and I always like to take people there if they come and visit me. And here is the final kind of tea rooms area. I'm not sure if it's a tea room area so much as it is a soba area, which they can be combined. Of course, there are restaurants that do both like kind of like Japanese sweets, like mochi and various kinds of different like sweets and teas, but they also do like really fresh soba, like cold soba which is what the bamboo noodle slide is. It's a bunch of soba, which is really quite difficult to do, to be honest, because it comes down there pretty fast and you gotta grab it with those chopsticks really fast. But it is a really fun experience and it's like super fresh and super cool. And yeah, I, I really definitely recommend it if you come to Japan, try and find somewhere that does these kind of fresh noodles down the slides. <laughs> yeah, it's just a fun experience. But this is kind of inspired by a lot of places in Kyoto, where if you go to most of the major tourist areas, for example, Kiyomizudera, God, that was, I butchered that. Um, Kiyomizudera, there we go. Um, basically that temple, there's a nice area where you can get tea and noodles and sit in a little area overlooking some nice gardens. So yeah, that's just inspired by that. And Coco's come over to do a workout here. Obviously, this is the place to be. I guess wherever I am, the villagers want to be. That's, that's sweet, right? That's sweet. <laughs> and now I'm just adding some flowers because I feel like, again, other than items, you can't really add much height to a beach without adding flowers I just feel like they really and weeds they really add some good texture and here I'm just finishing off the entrance adding a pond skater and finally I just do a path from the front area to this actually the first ever build I did on this island which is my Chonky Peninsula which has again another kind of shrine area um, so yeah just adding a way to get there which is easy for people to see when they come and visit this island eventually when I'm done. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to be done, I swear. With this and my Harry Potter island, I've still... On my Harry Potter island, I'd say I'm about just over halfway done. And on this island, maybe a quarter of the way done? I would say-ish. <laughs> uh, tell me in the comments, how long does it usually take you guys to finish an island? Because I swear, I can't, I can't do it. I'm... I'm trying my best, honestly, <laughs> but I'm only this far through. How do people do it? Some people do it like they, they bring out a new one every month. I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe there's some sort of like secret shortcut that I, I need to be told or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you have any uh, 
Animal Crossing hacks that I could use to get things done faster. <laughs> Although actually, I actually enjoy the pace that I do it, saying that, so. Oh, by the way, I trapped boots in there, <laughs> he was there the whole time. <laughs> Just making final adjustments and here we are. So this is the final build. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks really different in nighttime and daytime. So, so if you want to see it during the daytime, feel free to come hang out on stream. I'll give a bit of a tour on my next birthday stream. And yeah, I really like the tea rooms, especially, um, especially this one. <laughs> Sorry, especially, especially. But yeah, because it really reminds me of things in real life. And I, it just gives me like a warm, comfy feeling if that makes any sense so yeah what do you guys think i think i'll make a few little tweaks here and there but overall i'm really happy as i said before it really gives me overgrown vibes i don't think it's too crowded and i think i've done okay with the color palettes i've got sort of a brown and green and a bit of pink that kind of vibe um i tried to limit myself to three colors rather than just going crazy but you know, other colors have leaked in here and there. But I think that Boots has a great little place to live. I don't know about you. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like. It really does help me out. And if you want to see more Animal Crossing videos for me, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you want to support the channel, you could become a member. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate everyone who's become a tea leaf so far. And here are my golden tea leaves. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.